Well, in Finstreet today, I'll be covering commercial vehicle financiers who have reported robust Q3 FI23 business momentum. Disbursers growth on a sequential basis has been anywhere between 8% to 20%, while AM growth has also been robust anywhere between 4.8% to 13% for all the lenders. So what has helped the CV sector? Overall, if you take a look from FI17 to 9-month FI23, CV sales have been pretty strong. Uh, blended realization has also improved massively, especially for medium and heavy commercial vehicles. So for example, Ashok Leyland has seen blended realization increase by more than 44% between FI17 to 9 month FI23. The blended realization is a function of price increase as well as tonnage increase. AM growth trend of all the players. Generally, the growth trend has been on a YOY basis anywhere between 13% to 17% and on a sequential basis anywhere between 4.8 to 4.9%. However, outstanding growth was seen for Chola Mandalam who has seen YOY growth of more than 31% and 13% on a sequential basis. The growth for Chola Mandalam has come in from the fact that their disbursement to AM ratio has been at 68% when compared to peers having it at less than 28% and around 30%. So good growth also means that net interest margin should have improved as we know that you know NBFC lend to high yielding customers on any product. However, Chola Mandalam's net interest margin has remained flat despite AM growth. In a rising interest rate scenario, Chola Mandalam's net interest margin has remained flat while net interest margin has declined for m and Finance. Cost of funds has impacted the net interest margin momentum of these two companies. If you take a look, their interest income has increased quarter on quarter both for Chola as well as MMFSL while their interest expense has grown massively or higher than that compared to peers on a sequential basis. Borrowing mix remains widely distributed for the likes of Shiram Finance as well as Sundram Finance, while Chola Mandalam does not have access to deposit and has one of the lowest securitization portion as a percentage of the borrowings when compared to peers. Another point to note is that you know Chola Mandalam also has the lowest provision coverage ratio when compared to peers. So Shiram has uh, you know stage three coverage ratio of 50.7 percent, MM Finance at 59 percent, while Chola Mandalam has it as around 26.7 percent. Going ahead, lenders like Shiram Finance, Sundram finance and m and finance can actually raise funds via deposits at attractive rates from their customers. So Chola Mandalam's restriction on borrowings profile when compared to diversified profile of peers can actually hurt its growth in the coming period or let's say in the next six months or so just in case it fails to borrow at competitive rates from the market. Strengthening of balance sheet may actually hurt return ratios for Chola Mandalam if at all they choose to do so. Chola Mandalam's performance against peers in a rising interest rate scenario needs to be seen with respect to net interest margin as well as return ratios.